it shouldn't be a priority of the federal government to tell people how to generate life for themselves. In lieu of the ongoing constitutional review, the zonal public hearing for the North Central State, Kogi, Niger and Kwara held the local on Tuesday and Wednesday. The two-day event hosted by Kogi State Governor Yahaya Bello was organized by the House of Representatives Special Committee on Constitutional Review. While declaring the program open on Tuesday, Governor Bello recommended a review of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency Act and 13% derivation for states where solid minerals are mined. Food and Drug Administration, this is imperative if we are to, among other things, develop organic responses to food security and crush the menace of drugs and substance abuses that is wrecking havoc on our youth, women, and even some leaders all over this nation. It is not only youth and women that are abusing substances. Majority of our leaders are abusing substances too. Creation of more states and local government areas, gender equality, devolution of power, local government autonomy, judicial autonomy, amongst other issues, topped the discussions. We want to see the federal government hands off completely agricultural matters. We want to see the state government hands off construction of roads, railway, electricity. We should be able to generate electricity at every community level. If it is uh, so that you, the state can, well, the community can generate. It shouldn't be a priority of the federal government to tell people how to generate life for themselves. Agriculture and housing matters should go to the local, local uh, governments. We only want to see electoral reform in such a way that electoral, state electoral bodies should conduct elections for the governor of the state. The deputy governor's seat, the state house of assembly, the local government, such power should be left for state hinder offices. We have a society which is misogynistic, misogynistic in the sense that we believe that even women in our society do not have equal rights as men. It has been physically, uh, it has been clinically proven that women are not less to men when it comes to intelligence. And when you look at our society today, you will realize that when it comes to decision-making, policy drafting, you will realize that females are not advantaged. Most of them are not advantaged when it comes to this issue. The federal government of Nigeria is keeping 52.68 cents in allocation. And then the 36 days of the federation we have to share a portrait with the six percent. There is too much money in the hands of this one federal government. And that's why often than not is open for abuses that we have seen today and that have brought us to where we are today. To suggest our action, we are suggesting that the federal government should not get more than 45 percent of the federal allocation that is shared monthly, and the balance of it should be added to the state's uh, government. Magistrates are uh, sometimes referred to as judicial beasts of burden because 70 percent of cases begin and ends at magistrate courts. Most criminal offenses under the criminal code and penal code are tried by magistrate courts. Magistrates take judicial oath of office before assuming duties, but are not recognized as judicial officers by section 318 of the 1999 constitution as amended. If this document was bad, institutions have been funded on it. You want to ask, what would you have done if there was that popular participation at the time this document was being crafted. If there are things that you have done differently, this is the opportunity to do it. You need government to Actually, need bring to Fulani closer. So that Fulani youth will get youth empowerment. Uh, youth empowerment. Yeah,
and government should give them scholarship okay. to attend primary, secondary school and tertiary institution mm. in each district. Attending grazing reserve, Fulani, they are very large in population. We want the government to help Fulani to have grazing reserve.